very gratifying to see that, you know, we, we keep the fight. You know, we were down big on the road, a tough place to play in. Um, we didn't get rattled. We, we buckled down. The second group came in, um, brought the energy, and, and we carried it over from there. Um, so for me, just seeing the fight and um, which I knew from, you know, coming here that every everybody on the team had, had that chip on their shoulder. I wasn't going to lay down for no reason. Um, and shoulder tonight. Six and one, Chicago Bulls. Uh, at one point, you might have thought it unbelievable that they were for real, but all they keep doing is winning. This time, overcoming a 19 point deficit to beat the Celtics in the Garden, which we'll, we'll talk about this from a Celtics perspective as well. But um, yeah, I wonder where all the people are who in the offseason thought that DeMar DeRozan signing was a bad one. Um, he looks absolutely fantastic and worth every penny. He but really Michael, did. listen, um, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's make a call here. Let's, let's figure this out on the spot because guess it's fitting uh, that we, today, we can talk about Bulls past and present. Um, the Bulls are as good as they've been this early in the season uh, in 25 years. Uh, back in the Jordan Pippen days. And sure. today, hmm. even though the last dance, the music stopped on the last dance documentary uh, well over a year ago, Scottie Pippen continues to sing the same sad song. So would you prefer to stay in the moment and discuss Bulls Celtics from a contemporary <laughs> perspective or do you want to turn back the clock and talk about Jordan and Pippen and Scotty's excerpt from his forthcoming memoir, Unguarded? I leave the choice to you. I, know, I want to, I want to turn back because I'm a good team. Let me tell you what I was doing. Okay. Let me tell you what I was doing last night. Last I night you I was doing, talking wait, about on. this. I, hope, oh, I bet you were doing the same thing I was doing before the show. Were you rewatching the Last Dance? No. Oh, what I was I, doing I'm, last I'm re night. I'm rewatching the Last Dance now. What were you doing last night? No, what I was doing last night was watching this sad Bulls Celtics 2021 game. <laughs> sad okay. from a Celtics perspective, Celtics and I had to talk about yes. it. Yeah, and I had to talk about a dude. A dude. I, I, it just it just blesses me. I thank you for comedy. Thank you, Lord, uh, for those who can make us laugh. A dude who has zero assists said, "Those dudes need to pass the ball." <laughs> okay, a wait. point guard. Okay. A point guard. With no assist. Well, wait, no, you can't. Okay, but you can't so just you can't pass. just throw, but you can't just pass. You can't just pass off that commentary and keep it moving. So, but you rather talk about the last dance? Let's talk about the last dance. Let's talk. Let's talk about the excerpt. We'll last come day. back to. We'll come. Okay, cool. Because I have taken, I give myself an assignment of rewatching the last dance through the okay. perspective of Scottie Pippen, um, who dropped an excerpt, like I mentioned in his book. So I'm gonna read to you. All right, this re re story time. The text oh, was we got from it. Michael. He didn't reach out very okay. often. What's up, dude? I'm getting word that you're upset with me. Love to talk about it if you have time. My schedule was packed that evening, and I knew the conversation would take a while. I hit him back an hour and a half later. Let's talk tomorrow. Michael was right. I was upset with him. It was because of the last dance, the 10-part ESPN documentary about the Chicago Bulls final championship season 1997-98, which millions of people watched during the early weeks of the pandemic. Blah, 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 blah. The final two episodes aired on May 17th. Similar to the previous eight, they glorified Michael Jordan while not giving nearly enough praise to me and my proud teammates. Michael deserved a large portion of the blame. The producers had granted him editorial control of the final product. The doc couldn't have been released otherwise. He was the leading man and the director. I had expected much more. When I was first told about it over a year later, I couldn't wait to tune in, knowing it would feature rare footage. My years in Chicago, beginning as a rookie in the fall of 1987, were the most rewarding of my career. 12 men come up. <laughs> Except Michael was determined to prove to the current generation of fans that he was larger than life during his day and still larger than LeBron James, the player many consider his equal, if not superior. So Michael presented his story, not the story of the last dance, as our coach Phil Jackson built the 97 98 season because of blah, 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 blah. As Cross told Phil to fall 97, uh, we know all this. We all know this. Um, let me, I'm trying to get to good stuff. On and on it went, the spotlight oh, shining on number 23. 
It is, but I mean, you know, stuff that we already know. Even in the second episode, which focused for a while on my difficult upbringing and unlikely path to the NBA, the narrative returned to MJ and his determination to win. I was nothing more than a prop. That's the headline. His quote unquote yep. best teammate of all time, he called me. He couldn't have been more condescending if he tried. On second thought, I could believe my eyes. I spent a lot of time around the man. I knew what made him tick, how naive I was to expect anything else. Uh, I'm not suggesting Michael wouldn't have been a superstar wherever he ended up. He was that spectacular just that he relied on the success we attained as a team six titles in eight years to propel him to a level of fame throughout the world. No other athlete except for Muhammad Ali has reached in modern times to make things worse. Michael received 10 million for his role in the dock while my teammates and I didn't earn a dime. Another reminder of the pecking order that. from the old days. For an entire season, we allowed that. cameras into the sanctity of our locker rooms, our practices, our hotels, our huddles, our lives. All right, Mike. Like I said, I'm rewatching The Last Dance because I'm trying, trying to watch it from the perspective of Scottie Pippen. Because maybe I got a blind spot. And yes, I intentionally wore this shirt. I recognize the irony of the shirt. I'm trying, Michael. I'm trying real hard to not to ignore my closet full of retro Jordans. Okay, I'm trying okay. to look at this objectively, or even from Scotty's perspective, to see where he's coming from. Not that he needs me to see where he's coming from. It's his truth. It's his story. It's his book that he's now trying to sell. I get it. But all I can say is this, man. When it comes down to it, Scotty Pippen in 2021 is no different than you and I were in 1991. Scotty Pippen just wants to be like Mike. That's the that's the beginning and the end of it. Scotty just wants to be like Mike. I don't know. Scotty no, Pippen so. still cannot come to grips with the fact. And eight minutes into episode one, eight minutes into episode one, our boy J. Adande looks into the camera and declares that Scotty Pippen is the greatest number two of all time. That's not a slight. That's the that's a compliment. And how could you expect to be more than a sidekick when you play with the greatest player ever? I just don't understand where this disrespect and this condensation that Scottie Pippen is referring to. Or, or did I say that right? Condensation? I'm not, I'm not talking about. Yeah, no, condescension. Weather. Condescension. That, the condescension. condescension, excuse me. Yeah, I said condensation, okay. like like weather. I was like condensation, like water, the, like water. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, like yeah. is it hot? Is right. it? <laughs> is there a, the droplets <laughs> on the window? <laughs> condescension. Thank you. This condescension that he's referring to. I just don't see where it's coming from. What more does he want? He's universally respected. What more does Scottie Pippen want? I, I think he. I think he wants people to understand that it wasn't inevitable. Like he said it, he said in that excerpt that Michael Jordan would have been a superstar anywhere, but he wouldn't have gone to the worldwide heights, six championships in eight years without Scotty and Horace Grant and Steve Kerr and all the other people, the Dennis Rodman, all the others that he mentioned. And it's not just Scotty. Now this is a, this is an important point. Scotty's not the only one who feels this way. I believe that he's the only one who was verbalizing it. But I believe that other I, I know Horace Grant has said something too. But by the way, Horace Grant uh, called it a so called documentary. He kept saying called so called documentary because he thought it was fiction. And it was uh, it was geared toward Michael just like Scotty feels the same way as it should be. I think Michael Jordan's teammates say what are you on you own one dog. I know you great. But come on man. You ain't winning six without us. You ain't you can't just drop Michael Jordan into any situation and get six championships and the greatest player ever. As you say, the greatest player player ever without that's much of a debate. Ooh, but, I, but that's one that's one one thing from Scotty's perspective. But I got to say, there's some hatred involved from Scotty cuz you know what he said about you can't guess what he said about LeBron? A player who's his equal if not superior. Yeah. Now you hating dog dog. You just hating. That's what I'm you saying. hating Scotty. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, Scotty Pippen and the rest of his teammates like go sit down somewhere. 
Go ahead, go have all the seats in the United Center. Like, go sit down somewhere. Like, like I, I, again, I'm watching it. We all saw it. We all watched it. You can't. Michael didn't go it back. It was geared toward and, Michael. And and and, it was and, and toward remix Michael, the right? highlights. We all saw Kirk Paxson make the shots. We all saw Kerr make the shots. We all saw Pippen dunking on people, you know, and and and, and stopping people. He's universally recognized as one of the greatest players ever. Full stop. One of the greatest defenders ever. Full stop. One of the most versatile players ever. Full stop. His name continues to, to echo throughout history, but that's not enough for him. You want billboards? You want to be a worldwide icon? That just wasn't you, player. And that's okay. That's okay. I don't understand how if somebody is driving the car and they pick you up, you pissed off because you got to ride in the passenger seat. He wasn't in the back seat. He was a, he was riding shotgun with Michael Jordan. Jordan and Pippen, right. greatest duo of all time. Everybody knows this. Scottie Pippen ain't telling us nothing. We don't know that Jordan didn't win those titles by himself. We know that. But okay, the way the Scottie story Pippen, was told, it was yeah. told the way it should have been told, which was the foundation no. of those championships was Michael mm, Jordan. I'm not sure. No, about that. Michael, Michael Jordan sure preceded that. Scottie Pippen. Okay, look, okay, I'll, I'll put it to you another way. I'll put it to you another way. This is the little brother getting pissed at the big brother for having a greater inheritance. Because, okay, let's say in some alternate universe that, that Scottie Pippen was an equal player to Michael Jordan, for argument's sake. Let's, let's, get in, let's, let's say he was equal to Michael Jordan, okay? Right, right. Okay. okay. If he were equal, Jordan got there first. Jordan had already hit the shot against Georgetown. Jordan had already been an Olympian. Bobby Knight had already said he was the greatest player he'd ever seen. He'd already dropped 63 on the Celtics in the Garden before Scottie Pippen got there. Then, That's right. yes, they took flight when Scotty finally grew up. No question about it. When Scotty came into his own, that's when they became the Bulls as we know them. But Michael Jordan was already Michael Jordan. So you mad because history did not favor you chronologically? You follow Jordan. He was already there. He was already a global icon before he got there. He ain't mad at history. He ain't mad at history. He wants to, he, he he wants to rewrite it, apparently. Hey, listen, he's, he's, he's not mad at Bobby Knight. He's not mad at the 1984 Olympics. Uh, he's not mad at uh, Michael Jordan and, and Boston Garden scoring 63 and Larry Bird saying that wasn't a basketball player. That was God and sneakers. That's who that was. I think what he's mad at is Mike. He, who, who he's mad at is Michael the man. I think he's mad at Michael at, at Michael Jordan storyteller. No, no, I think mad mad at Michael Jordan storyteller rather than Michael Jordan basketball player storyteller Michael Jordan and his graciousness or lack thereof when it comes to spreading the wealth and talking about how this thing happened. That's I didn't say he's right. Holes. I didn't say I agree with him. Okay, okay. I didn't right, say I agree enough. with him. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm okay, just but telling even you, still, but even still, that's what I'm holes, seeing Michael. and that's what I'm hearing. But when you watched it, Again, I'm rewatching it to try to be fair. I'm gonna rewatch it. Oh, I'll get, yeah. it's just an excuse it's, to rewatch it's last Michael dance. Jordan. It's the Michael Jordan origin story with some tweaks. Like, for example, like, okay, I didn't see that. I, just got, I did is, not. We like, didn't watch the I, same I, documentary. Okay, I see it. I, this, here, here's, here's a small thing. Just a small thing. It's, it's humorous to me because I like accuracy. Remember that sign, that funny sign? We, we used to see it every day at the Boston Globe over the sports department. It said accuracy is a cornerstone of our business and accuracy was misspelled intentionally. Anyway, and somebody did the little carrot and put the C in there. Anyway, mm -hmm. just for, mm -hmm. I, I love accuracy. So, in the 1982 game, if you watch the last dance, it was just Michael Jordan hit the shot and the game was over. But that ain't how it ended. Like, come on, like, why are we doing this? Yeah, I, remember Freddie Brown? Remember throwing to the wrong guy? That's how the game ended. The game didn't okay. end on the shot. The shot was important. There's but also this thing called like, editing. You can't. Okay, it's not, it wasn't a story about the game. Edit. But it okay. was about Michael right. Jordan before he got to it, Chicago it and how hyped he was when I they took him third. I thought it was the third. last dance. It was the last they, dance. They had to set the table for Michael 97, Jordan's 98. Last dance. They had to set the it table for 97, 98. Dance. All right, man. Y'all live in a different the world team. where the best player of all time doesn't deserve to be front and center. He's the front Scottie and Pippen center. Got, He's Scottie front Pippen and was, the, was the sympathetic figure early on in the last dance for how he was it mistreated was by Michael the Bulls front Michael Jordan's office. view... It was Michael Jordan's view of the final season. And if that if they want to bill it, then that, do your own. That, then do your own. I do was, your own. See how many people tune in for Scottie was, Pippen's version of it. Let me tell you something. I was entertained by it. 
I love the last dance. I thought it was great. I thought it was well done. Uh, all the props you want to give it, give it the props. But if I'm a teammate of Michael Jordan's, like Horace Grant or Scottie Pippen, and it's built as the last dance, and you experience it, you just said it, Mike. Mike, think of be fair. Be fair here. You said these are guys who rode in the front seat with Michael Jordan, so they no, know things Scottie that we Pippen don't know. Did. I said Scottie right, Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Scotty did. Scotty rode in the front seat. He knows things about Jordan that we don't know. He saw things that we didn't see, and his expectation was that the last dance was going to be that story, and that story doesn't exist. It was. So it was. It was about the final season. It covered the it covered the Kraus Reinsdorf versus. Phil Jackson, Michael Jordan angle. It covered the ebbs and flows and ups and downs of the season. And in doing so, told then, people's backstories. Rodman's backstory, Phil's backstory, Steve Kerr's backstory, Scottie Pippen's backstory. Bruh, Michael Jordan, they all rolled Michael Jordan's coattails. Okay, because don't ask yourself what Michael Jordan would have been if he'd have been somebody else, somewhere else. What would Scottie Pippen have been if he was somewhere else? It goes both ways. It goes both ways. And he was brilliant for that moment that, that Michael Jordan walked away. 1.8 seconds notwithstanding. Okay? He was great for that moment that Michael Jordan walked away. All right? But is Scottie Pippen writing a book? Does anybody want to hear about Scottie Pippen absent from his commentary about Michael Jordan? Like, let's not bite the hand that fed you, player. Let's not get this, this thing twisted. I almost cussed just now. Let's not get mm. this thing twisted. That's the greatest player of all time. It did tell a comprehensive story of the 97 98 season and the Bulls dynasty and there's such a thing in storytelling as you know Michael as a leading man and Jordan well, was the leading man. This was not an ensemble cast. This was Michael Jordan and his supporting mm -hmm. actors and if you find that insulting I don't know what to tell you. But what I do know is Scottie Pippen is universally respected and regarded as one of the greatest players of all time. Independent of Michael so. Jordan. He doesn't feel it. He doesn't, he doesn't feel, feel it, it. and anyway, I'm not sure company. how he doesn't feel it. Because everybody says that, it. Yeah. And, and, and you know who looked like a bad guy in the documentary was Jordan. Jordan being selfish about Scotty's contract made Jordan look like an a-hole in the documentary. Hey, thanks for watching, brother, from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.